Hello everyone, welcome to week six. We are now officially past the halfway mark. And great news, we have had such great weather and it makes it a lot easier to exercise when there's great weather and it looks like we're gonna have more great weather to come. And I figured with all the warmer weather that we've been having, I would incorporate this week's video as to exercising in warm weather. And also to that, to add proper breathing and just some, also some other reminders that I've um, told you along the way. So we all know that Michigan can get rather hot and humid in the summer, which can make it a lot more difficult for exercising. Uh, in fact, some of the worst conditions you can have while exercising is a hot, humid, sunny, and windless day. And let's face it, Michigan has several of those days in the summer, and it's something that you can't really avoid um, if you're going to be exercising outside in these conditions. It's just something you'll have to get used to. Um, you'll just have to prepare yourself more for it. Um, the body cools itself off in areas where there's more blood flow, which would be your face, um, your extremities, your face, your hands, and your feet. So some good techniques to do to cool yourself off when you're exercising. Um, I don't expect you to do it while you are exercising, but you know, after, maybe put a cool rag on your face, um, wet your hands down and wet your feet down and it'll just help you to cool down a little bit easier. Um, your skin does cool itself off by naturally sweating. Not everyone will react by cooling yourself off. The same aspect, um, the heat and humidity affects everyone differently. It does require about one to two weeks for a person to fully acclimate to a new environment. So in that aspect, I know it seems like it's hard and it's difficult to go and exercise in the heat, but it will get easier, I promise. It may not seem like it at the time, but your body will get used to it. Um, you may not sweat as much as you did the one time. In that aspect, your body gets used to it. The more you do something, the more you form a habit, the better your body will form to it. Do keep in mind that if you are exercising near or on an asphalt road, um, that does absorb the heat very easily. So your body will absorb that heat while you're exercising, make it a lot harder to exercise. So please do not, try to not exercise on an asphalt highway if it does reach the upper 80s or 90s, just because it'll make your, your workout that much harder for you. Um, if you don't have that option, of course, just make sure you are properly cooling yourself down and hydrating yourself afterwards. But I would recommend to exercise in more grassy areas or trails, if at all possible, or a more shaded area. So proper breathing while exercising, I know it seems like there isn't any proper technique. You breathe, you do it naturally. Um, the best technique that everyone's told me to do is to breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth while you're exercising. Although, um, in some other ways, when you are doing a more vigorous exercise, it is hard to breathe in through your nose. Um, so in that aspect, breathe in through your mouth and out through your mouth with more strenuous exercises. Make sure you try to keep your breath steady and try to get a rhythm with um, how you're exercising. Um, say you'll take a breath in, take a couple strides, and do a breath out. I'm not saying that's the way you're supposed to do, but you'll, you'll figure it out. Um, try and focus on your rhythm and what works best for you. Um, some slow and deep breaths are the best way to breathe while exercising. When I first start my workout, um, I focus on getting a rhythm with my stride, and then I focus on my breathing, because at first I'm breathing really fast and short, and then it makes it harder, and then I take a few deep breaths, deep breaths, and then it all flows together with my rhythm. Um, the deeper and longer breaths that you take, the more you will avoid getting side cramps. So just to be aware of your breathing and your rhythm, um, find out what works best for you. Um, it'll give you better benefits out of your workout. All right, and hopefully everyone is remembering to check their heart rates while exercising. Um, maybe you might be finding that you're able to raise your heart rate a little bit higher with less difficulty than you were last time, or that your heart rate comes back down to rest further or that when you are exercising, that exercise routine that you did last week, your heart rate wasn't as high. Um, this just means that your heart's getting 
more used to the exercise and you are exercising your heart muscle and all muscles get better with the more you work them. So I hope this is some more helpful hints for you. Um, keep up the good work, get outside and exercise. And I will see you all next week for video number seven.